Mr Chair, uh, when I spoke uh, to the second reading of this bill, I raised a number of points and I've been listening tonight to see if anybody was going to pick up on those points and, and I'm hoping that the uh, Minister will rise to take a call about these points. First of all, though, I want to talk about the good points of, of this uh, legislation, this, this bill, and I really like the, the focus it is having on the safety of our children. I think that this is something that we really need to uh, be um, aware of at all times and um, in, in other legislation, the, the, of course we have that uh, children are, you know, the uh, safety of children is paramount. And so I, I really do uh, support the, uh, the, the, the provisions around police vetting. I think that um, people that deal with children, should, we should always be aware that they are safe to be with our children. Uh, that, that is very important. That teachers, contractors, anybody who is working with our children has to be um, very safe and um, that we have no worries about who our children are meeting with. I also um, like the provisions around uh, the registration of teachers that we're going to be able to match those up so that we can see that the, that, that the teachers that our children um, are going to be working with actually know what they're talking about and will be able to teach them correctly and will not be going off on um, tan tangents or um, giving them incorrect information. So th these are points that um, I'm very supportive of. But one thing that I do see as missing from this bill is the fact that as well as these safety issues, I think that it's missing on cultural safety. And I really do miss the fact that there is nothing in here to um, point teachers to be able to do training on programs such as te kotahitanga and those sorts of things so that children are able to grow up safe in their identity and their cultural identity. And I just want to talk about a few examples that I'm aware of. And some of these although they are historic examples, are still happening today, and I think this is a, a real pity. And I think about um, examples that my aunts told me about when they were at school and being taught history, uh, and my aunts grew up in Tatawihu, in Nelson Marlborough area, and they were taught the history of the Wairau massacre and the, the fact that these... Um, Heathens, these savages, um, blatantly broke the law by massacring these settlers. Now, I, the teacher was very well aware that, my, that, that she was talking about my auntie's great-grandparents at that stage. And so they grew up having been taught by this teacher about how their great-grandparents were dirty savages, heathens, who massacred um, innocent um, settlers, and it took them years to be able to actually learn for themselves that this wasn't, in fact, what happened. So, yeah, so, you know, th these, these are the things that are still happening today, and I think that we need to be looking at our history curriculum and about the ability of teachers to actually teach our children uh, their true identity. Um, other examples that I can bring up, again, um, from one of my aunt's um, experience. Now, she is a teacher, and she has had a lot of um, experience and expertise in teaching, but she found that one of her daughters was struggling at school, and when she went in to talk to that teacher, she was spoken to by that teacher as though she was ignorant as though she had no uh, concept of all of what a teacher is supposed to teach the children. And she actually walked out of that meeting feeling totally um, inadequate as a parent, as a teacher, and I think that this is something that we need to be talking to tr training our teachers about. And this is a matter of safety for the children as well as for their parents. So I'm hoping that the Minister will take a call to be um, talking to us about cultural identity, about cultural safety and um, how that can be taught in our schools. Other things that are missing from this, uh, this bill that I think it would be really good to look at is things such as uh, whether the school is aware of 
how the children are, are doing at home. Are they coming to school having had breakfast? And I spoke about the uh, schools in my area. Call Sue Moroni.